This is going to be an arduous battle.
You okay? Demon!
Thank you. 
What is it? Sorry, did I wake you? I couldn't really get to sleep.
Then can I talk to you for a sec? Okay then, just for a little while. Sorry about calling you out here in the middle of the night. Nah, don't worry about it. What's up? I'll get right to the point. What's up with this Kratos guy? Well, what do you mean, what's up? Doesn't he piss you off? Zelos, why are you so mad? Well, he's done all this stuff to us. Turned against us and even betrayed his own son? Damn right I'm mad. Uh, do you really think you're in a position to be mad? We don't need to talk about me. I'm really good at conveniently forgetting things like that. That's hardly something to brag about. I think parents are there to protect their children. Well, yeah. But this guy, he just goes back and forth like he can't make up his mind. Doesn't he realize that it only hurts you? And then after all that, he challenges you to a duel? What kind of family turns swords against one another? This whole thing's nuts! Yeah, well, I guess that's true. You certainly don't seem that worked up about it. Doesn't he piss you off? Well, right now, you're mad enough for the both of us. I hate parents like that. Parents who just jerk their kids around for their own convenience. Yeah, when you put it that way, I guess he did kind of jerk me around. Exactly. I mean, he knew about the Eternal Sword and the Eternal Ring from the very beginning and didn't say a word about it. Uh... What? What about the Eternal Ring? Uh, well... Is Kratos the one that told you about the Eternal Ring? So, oh, Lloyd, after we've succeeded in reuniting the worlds, what are you gonna do? Zelos, you heard about the Ring from Kratos, didn't you? He... he knew everything. That humans can't use the Eternal Sword, the details of Colette's sickness, the way to make the Eternal Ring, everything. Yeah, I guess when you think about it that way, he could have said something sooner. Exactly. But even if he had told us, I don't think we would have believed him. So maybe he did his best to gauge when to do what, and to set things up for us along the way. When you put it that way, I suppose that might be true. Now I feel kind of stupid for getting so worked up over it. Not at all. Because you were upset, I think I've calmed down. I'm not worked up anymore. Oh. Well, that's good then. Tomorrow, I'll fight Kratos, and then I'll ask him what he was thinking and what he was trying to do. Tomorrow? If Origin's seal is broken, the worlds will begin to unite, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. About that question you asked earlier? I'm planning to go on a journey to search for X-Fears. Huh? You asked what I was gonna do after the worlds are reunited. Oh, I get it. That sounds like a good idea. We should put the X-Fears somewhere people will never get their hands on them again. For the sake of living beings, as well as for the lifeless ones. What about you? What are you gonna do? Me? Hmm, good question. The institution of the Chosen will surely be abolished, so, uh... I guess I'll just tag along with you! Huh? Are you serious? Yep. I think it's an awesome idea, if I do say so myself. Zelos, savior of the world, on a journey with his faithful sidekick. What do you think? Whatever, man. Do what you like. Okay, then. It's settled. It's gonna be awesome traveling around with me. Just you wait. Yeah, yeah.
This is gonna be a piece of cake. Are you okay? Stalking me or something? Bye bye. No way. Bye. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. Oh, no Oh! <laughs> 
This is gonna be cake.
This is gonna be a piece of cake. Bye bye. No way. Are you okay? That was just warming up. So you've come. Is there no other way? Are you still thinking like that? You'll die if you fight me with any doubt left in your heart. If you want the pact with Origin, then you must defeat me. So, that's your way. Everyone, leave this to me. You're going to fight alone? This guy's really stubborn. Simple-minded and tough as nails. So he's more than a match for you all by himself. But anyway, try your best. Get ready! I'm not gonna hold back this time. I know. I won't either. Double demon fan! <laughs> Brave! strong thanks to you aren't you going to finish me I've defeated Kratos the angel the one who betrayed us and I forgive Kratos the hero of the ancient war who helped us that's all <laughs> and I thought I'd finally earned the right to die but you're as soft-hearted as ever Hold on. You can't be... Are you going to break the seal? That is what you desire, is it not? But then you'll... Kratos! Don't worry, he's alive. I gave him some of my mana. Dad! Kratos! Are you really okay? Looks like I failed to die once more. You stupid jerk! You can die any time! But when you die, that's the end! You want him to live in eternal damnation? Who said anything like that? What will you accomplish by dying? Nothing! There is no meaning in dying! You're right. To think I had to have my son... teach me such an obvious lesson. Kratos! Kratos will be fine. Form the pact with Origin. You who 
lack the right. I have lost faith in all things. Have you come here to disappoint me as well? Origin, are you bound by a pact to Mythos? My pact with Mythos was broken the moment I was freed. Never again shall anyone make use of my power. Even if we make a vow, we need the Eternal Sword. I want to use the Eternal Sword to reunite the two worlds and revive the giant Carlon tree. Unless we do something, the worlds will never stop vying for mana and everyone will suffer. That situation was born from the weakness of creatures who are unable to accept those that are different. That may be true, but mistakes can be corrected. Some things cannot be corrected. Even so, we have to do everything we can. Exactly. I'm not gonna give up. From the moment they are born, everyone has the right to live. I want to reclaim that. Humans, elves, half-elves, dwarves, and even summon spirits. Everyone has a right to life. Origin. For almost an eternity, I thought that the only way to save this world was to cling to Mythos' ideals. Just as you once agreed with Mythos' ideals, I too thought his was the only way. But Lloyd is different. He taught me that in order to change something, you must do it yourself. It is not enough to merely rely on someone else and go along with their ideals. You, who possess the right of summoning, make your vow. Origin, then... I will try once more to believe in people. I shall do my duty in order to create a world you speak of. A world in which everyone can live equally. I, Sheena, have but one vow. To reclaim a world in which everyone can live freely. A world in which no life is sacrificed meaninglessly. That's all. Then we shall create a pact upon that vow. Now fight! Not much of a specimen.
Watchmaker Sheena and Lloyd, I place my power in your hands. With that power, transform the Eternal Sword into a blade to save all life. However, the Eternal Sword remains, as by Mythos' pact, unusable by those who lack the blood of Elves. You must master the sword by your own power and forge a new bond with it. There's no time. I'll take your body. No! No, it's Mythos. He survived in the Crucius Crystal. Lloyd's body will be taken over unless we do something. I don't think so. journey together when the world is reunited. Let him go! <laughs> off the route to Daris Carlon. Damn. We'll evacuate the elves for now. The entire village will be destroyed unless we do something.
What is that? That is Daris Carlo. Impossible. How could a planet exist so close? It is the eternal sword that makes the impossible possible. It was hidden by the protective barrier projected from the Tower of Salvation. But it has always existed there for 4,000 years. Yes. And now Mythos, with the Great Seed in hand, is trying to leave this land and take Darius Carlon with him. Tabitha, you're feeling better? Yes. Wait a minute. Darius Carlon is a mass of mana. And the Great Seed is the seed of the giant tree, right? If he takes both of them, what's gonna happen to this world? It will wither and die from mana deprivation. This is a much bigger problem than reuniting the worlds. Who cares? Our friend just got kidnapped. What should we do, Lloyd? What else? We're going after Mythos. But the Tower of Salvation was destroyed. Use the Eternal Sword. If you really made a pact with Origin, the sword will surely respond to you. With its power over time and space. But Altessa is not well enough to move. Who's going to craft the Ring of the Pact? Dad. Dirk? Yeah. He's our only hope. We'll go to Silverant. Wait. I'm going with you. All right.
So, you want me to forge the Ring of the Pact? A dwarf who's losing his skills by living on the surface? There's no one else. The dwarf that has the skills is unable to move. Dad, please. I've gathered all of the necessary items. This is adamantite for polishing. Hmm. What's this piece of wood? Is this sacred wood? This must fuel the fire. Is that why you were traveling all over Tetheala? To prepare all of this? <sighs> I see. So everything is set. I can't very well refuse after you've gone through so much trouble now, can I? And I suppose it won't hurt me to help out my dearest son. After all, I'm his father too. Dwarven vow number one. Work together for the sake of a peaceful world. All right, let's do it. With this, I'll be able to use the Eternal Sword, right? Dad! Kratos! What's wrong? Lloyd, you've really grown stronger. I never expected you to be able to inflict such a serious wound on my angelic form. Take this, and stop Mythos. I don't think I'll be able to help you anymore. Okay. That's a marvelous blade. I doubt you have a sword in your possession to match it. Really? Take this with you. It's a present I promised you. Now that you've grown all up, I can entrust you with the greatest sword I ever forged. Wow. I'll become even stronger with these two swords. Thanks, Dad. And... Kratos. I'm sorry I forced everything upon you. I have great dads. One made a ring for his son using the lost arts. And another risked his life to protect his son in secrecy. Yeah, you've got great parents. Yeah, well... I'm off. Dad. Everyone, let's go.